We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Cincinnati Reds and the St. Louis Cardinals. The Cards look to match the longest winning streak in baseball history. Coming up next. Adam Wainwright will be on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him Danny. Boy talk about a guy that's hard to score off of last three starts in ERA of under Cincinnati. one. So if the you think you're going to score a lot of runs off Mike. this guy you better get him early because once he settles in he's awfully tough and Matty V this is one of the top pitchers in the sport right now. First pitch coming from Wainwright. Jonathan India is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. And fellas we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean just a double digit winning streak that I mean maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now and they're a fun watch. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Weather not much of an issue tonight. A mild 65 degrees here at game time. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jonathan India goes down for out number two in the top half. Nicholas Castellanos stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there. And even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Good work and a pitcher's count to get on base and keep the inning alive. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole. And one count and the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. On the run is Brock. And he's able to get there on the long run, and he covered a lot of ground. Stepping up is Lou Brock. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Up for the Cardinals. Now the pitch. No left fielder. Lou. Brock. He pops it up. And that's going to land foul. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. I can't tell you how big a play that is right there. It's so important that to keep exactly. runners off base, but how about keeping the go ahead runner off base? Your pitcher's fired up right now. Now with the plate is Eric Davis and he enters play today currently fifth in the National League batting race and he will make the play out there and there are two batting away third. now. The shortstop Paul DeYoung. So next to hit is Paul DeYoung. Power a big part of his game as he enters this contest number five in the National League home run race. Yeah he's blasted four home runs in his last ten games too and he's got that power stroke working right now. This guy's an absolute nightmare to opposing pitcher power to all fields and he'll take that ball away and drive him for opposite field power. And this one bounds around against the wall and he'll coast into second here with a two out double. It's always nice to get the something catcher. cooking in the first yeah, inning, yeah. even with two outs. Now oh, your cleanup man yeah. steps to the plate and has a chance to drive in the first run of the game. Yeah. Not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. The throw on Devada will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Second inning set to go, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Joey Votto. Try to check it, and it's 0 and 1. Joey Votto. Votto behind, but still dangerous, even on 0 and 2. Grounder down the line at third. Arenado has it on the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. 
batting six. The center field. Wainwright into the windup. Here comes Tyler. the first pitch. Tyler Naquin swings and misses there, so he's down 0 and 1. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Next to hit is Tucker Barnhart and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch. The 1 0. Is swung on and missed strike one. And a curveball is by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. He's gone to the well with that. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Reds are down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Last half of the second set to go. And standing in is the Meeting veteran third baseman, Lewis. Nolan Arenado. The third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on the slurve. Strike one. And guys, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Maddie, they got beat up on the homestand, losing. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but sick. a solo shot isn't the going right to be the deciding factor in a game. Larry. Stepping in will be Larry Walker. Walker. He'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Naquin is in retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. Batting seven, the second baseman, Matt Carpenter. Now at the plate, here is Matt Carpenter. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Here's the pitch. Swing and he puts a charge into this one high and deep and you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center fourth home run for him on the season as the Redbirds have taken a two to nothing lead. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch Batting yourself. It. You're missing the over the heart of the plate. Standing Jim. in now, Jim Edmonds. Edmonds. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. Batting up. The pitcher. And up. To the plate now, Adam Wainwright. Pitch out. Nothing doing. One oh count here it is and they pitch out here but nothing's happening ball two. Edmonds base runner at first with one out. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. Winker will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The left fielder number 20. Lou. Brock. So it's a runner at first with two gone and in steps the all time Cardinal great Lou Brock. From the belt kicks and deals hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah that's a good way of trying to control the running game Matt. The problem with it though it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Now this will rattle up against the wall. Edmonds rounds third and is digging for the plate. The tag and he's safe. They push their lead to three now. 
Well, we've already had that some hard hit balls in the first two innings here, and here's another one. Absolutely jumped off his bat and into the outfield, bringing another run home here in the early going. Into the box, Eric Davis. Gray ready with the 0 1. Winker gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Here's the first pitch. Leading off from Cincinnati. As he'll the look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. But facing right handed pitching so far this season, Suarez brings a batting line of barely over 200, so there's certainly some room for improvement there. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. First pitch of the A.B. now. Sonny Gray. Bases are empty. One man out. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there and I expect him to catch something clean. Fouled away. Another one sent foul. Chopped on the ground to first. High hop and he bare hands it. How about Either. that? Now batter. And the next Second batter will be Mike Freeman. Mike. He's 0 for 1 Freeman. after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. No balls and a strike to count. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a curveball swung on and missed. And a great call there as the inning is over. One. Bottom of the third now. And that'll bring in the Illinois Mitigo State product, the Paul DeYoung. Not I'm interested stop. to see how focused their ABs will be Gee playing God. with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. Line drive base hit into the left center field gap. Around first, he's digging for second. And he will make it there as the Cardinals get a man in his scoring position on the leadoff double. The baseball is a game of streaks and yeah, runs, yeah. and he is on one right oh, now. Yeah, yeah, and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can, and he's doing that coming in right here. Came into this. Oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. And he leaves another one over the plate, and this ball's driven to left. And for the third time tonight, he has served up a home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left, so a milestone here. And even 50 home runs on the year now, as the lead for the Cardinals opens up now to five now to nothing. Patty. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Oh, man, it's so oh, rare Ronaldo. to see a guy put a 50 dingers in a season, especially in recent years. Well, he just did. It's been incredible to watch. What a season. Line hard, deep into left. Winker is there, and he makes the catch for the out. The right fielder, number 33. Next to hit, Larry Walker. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just. The first pitch is hit pretty well out to right. Going back is the right fielder. And it's gone as they add still another. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter. And every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Jose De Leon is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. He's got a big old smile on his face. He knows he has a 6-1 lead here in the early going to work, but you can't let that take away your edge, though. In now, Jim Edmonds ripped down the first base line. One for one with a single so far. On 
On the ground to second base. This could be two. There's one. Really, Devato's in time at first, and it's a double play. Side retired. Jonathan India digging in now. And Dero down six already in the early part of this ball game. What's the mentality for them as they try to work their way back? You know what, Matty? This is where you take some prideful ABs. I've been down six before, and I've come back from even further down than that in some big ball games. You have to find a way to just relax and start piecing some good ABs back to back. Can't connect there on the breaking ball. One and one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. So it now was a it. swinging strike right three. Field. Jonathan India yeah. becomes the first That's out of the inning. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Count is even one and one to Nicholas Castellanos. Two and one. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Then a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Throw on to first, and Wainwright has it working now. Two away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jesse Winker, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch of the AB on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Reds are down in order. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the Here pitcher, go. Adam Saint Wainwright. Clear. The pitcher. Ready with the first Adam. pitch. Here it comes. Wainwright. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. This year against right-handed pitching, Wainwright has proven to be one of the best hitting pitchers around. Get this, his average up over 300. This is the classic case of the modern day ball player right there. You can have the batting average if your OPS is north of 800. Naquin is there and he has it for the first out. Now batting. There's the look Let's of the final line for the Red move. starter. And clearly he was Rock. off his game this evening. Hey, this certainly wasn't the outing he was looking for when he left the bullpen while warming up. Too many pitches over the heart of the plate. Four home runs. That's right. Four home runs he allowed in this one. And now back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Stepping in, Lou Brock. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Left fielder is on the move. And he makes the catch in the corner. Now, back. now to bat, Eric Level Davis. 34. He's been a little unfortunate so far with a couple of hard hit balls that have resulted in line outs. First pitch on its way. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. To short. Reined in. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. But they're on top by a count of six to nothing. First pitch coming from Wainwright. Leading off from Cincinnati. The first baseman, number 19. Had to be sitting Joey something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is the right fielder. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. 
And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. As Wainwright's able to jump ahead of him here with strike one. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Lifted in the air to center. Davis is right there, one down. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. One run, two hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Got him to go down swinging there. Tucker Barnhart goes down for out number two in the top half. Eugenio Suarez is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. But a solo home. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, Vigo. and that'll bring in the Illinois State the product, Paul DeYoung. Paul DeYoung. Now a drive by DeYoung. This ball is hit well to left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Fans are getting plenty of souvenirs today. That's the fifth ball we've seen clear now the that. fence by just the this catcher. one lineup alone. Yeah, yeah. yeah Matty V, how oh, about this, hey, D-Rub? You come to watch offense, you pick the right game to come and see. Five bombs from one team. Everybody in the lineup. They're making fun right now of the guys who now don't that. have a homer at this point. That was pretty obvious no in way. live action that that ball was hit hard. And after analyzing it with our show track technology, we see that our eyes did not deceive us. 114 miles an hour was the exit velo. An impressive swing of the bat. Just an absolute laser that like time. Gilbert. Screaming off the bat, if you will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 oh miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept no it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do Second right there. Dead. You know, deal on a spot Matt. like that. That's an infield Second single. Third. That's a tough play just to knock that ball. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Going back is the right fielder. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's an 8-1 to one ball game. Now that. Stepping in man. once again is yeah. Jim Edmonds. He was a double Edmund. play victim last time around. Here's the first pitch to him. Liner in there for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 9-1 ball game. Michael Feliz no gets the no call to pitch here, and he'll try to and sort no. this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings from his guys. At the plate, Adam Wainwright. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Nick Wooden's under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Back to the top of the order now. And in steps the all-time Cardinal great Lou Brock. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two now away. Number 44. Hey, guys, I think the pitcher was just trying to steal a strike right there. I do not think he expected to get ambushed on an 0-0 get-me-over breaking ball. But that's exactly what happened. So now to the plate, Eric Davis. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Scorch to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. The batter number 11. Shortstop, Paul DeYoung. So that brings in the power-hitting middle infielder, Paul DeYoung, as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well. Boy, this guy's having a great a game here so far. The home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run that in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. 
And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Back on six more as they just continue to turn it on in this one. Shogo Akiyama will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. So yet another strong yeah, outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders Mike in ERA. Freeman. And as you can see right there, he's up near the top in the National League, currently third best. And here's a ball hit in the air. And it's a foul ball. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Wainwright looks in. Here's the nothing and two. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. He's really on a roll now right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding his zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Ladies Brad Brock gets the call to pitch please. here, and he'll try to sort now, this mess out. Cincinnati. He's going to try to at least need a couple 31. of innings for his guys. Brad Brock. Here's Nolan Arenado and his head-to-head -head matchup numbers Cardinal. with Brad Brock. A handful baseman. of plate appearances, Nolan. and he's gone four for six. Arenado. He's taken him deep once. Drilled on the ground is short. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Now Next to stand Mike in is Larry Walker. He homered back in the third inning in this one. First pitch of the A.B. now. Lifted down the line in left. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. The 0-1. Into center field, line drive base hit. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. The batter, Three for four. 13. He's looking locked. Second in. baseman, Matt Carpenter. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. One there, but one's hey. all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Now that. The and now here man. is Jim Edmonds. Jim. Singled home a run in Edmund. his last time up. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hit hard up the middle. Throw on to second for the force and the side is retired. on to pitch from bullpen now in an unexpected move he's their closer so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh popped him up number 42 Edmonds moving to his left and that's the first out of the inning so here's the cleanup hitter Jesse Winker flew out last time up swung right over the splitter there 0 and 1. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Joey Votto is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Mm, really dotting the corners here with the fastball. 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So here now is the pitcher. Bruce we Suter. He's Lewis. newly entered into the no ball pitcher. game, so this will be his first Bruce. trip to the plate here in inning number Brother. seven. Liner towards second. Throw to first is in time for the first out. 
the left. Ready hit. now Number is 20. Lou Brock. He's doubled Lou. and singled in four at Brock. bats in this contest. He's set. Here it comes. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher stuff. Come set and the 0 1. Left center, base hit. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. As we take a look now at the down. replay here, you can Double see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice he's job of right. staying back on it, and he's hey. able to tattoo it for a double. Hey. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Liner in there for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Wow, that's a baker's dozen. 13 runs right there, and they the can't do anything 11. wrong at the plate. Shirts I'm off. no expert, but Whoa. I would have to bet that the manager would yeah. love to save some of those runs for the next game. Regardless, there's some happy men in that dugout. Winker is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. The catcher, number so four. the next to bat will be Yadier yeah. Molina. He bounced out oh, last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. Not That's bad. his third RBI of the third game baseball. and extends his team's no. lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I'd say those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. Amir Garrett comes yeah. on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other. Ready to begin the eighth, and into bat next, it'll the be Tyler back. Naquin. The center field and that's cut on and missed 0-1. Tyler Naquin. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Here's the 0 and 2. Struck him out. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter. And instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. One out, nobody on. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will of inning number eight set to go and coming forward the veteran outfielder Larry Walker the right field well hit the other way again it's into the gap and he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what Second Work base the turn. count, make the pitcher Back. waste a few pitches, but when he no, throws up turn. a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over it. 
Winker a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now that the first so baseman. stepping in is Jim yeah. Edmonds. Two hits in Edmund. four attempts to this point from the stretch. One out and a runner on third. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Boy, and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And he is in at third base with an RBI triple. That triple just seems to be par for the course for him of late. Yeah, Matty, he's seen the ball extremely well. There's no doubt no about picture. that. You can see Ooh. here that the body is calm. No, he no. keeps his hand back, and he just explodes. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plane. When we looked at this game on paper before it started, I don't think any of us thought it would no, go no, down no, like no, this. No, Sometimes it's hard to explain no. when a game is this lopsided. No. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. And he'll reach second now with one now away. Back. Now the skipper's Number on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. I think they're way past due changing their approach to this guy. Whatever they're doing strategy-wise, it's not working. That's his third... And the second run will score as well. Wow. This has been a memorable game, but for all the wrong reasons, they've 11. given up a staggering 18 runs Paul. here, and they can't go home yet. Young. Can you say painful? So Paul DeYoung digs in next. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's had a great game so far, and a triple would complete the cycle. Here comes the 0-1. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. Naquin is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Next the up, Yadier Molina. And he's got a Yadier. shot at history here, but he'll need a oh, triple to complete the cycle. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And it's gone! It's getting pretty comical now. They're sixth home run of the game and they're not done yet they Up say hitting is hard. contagious and apparently that basement. applies to the long ball no, no. it's looking like All batting right. practice out there so he'll add one to his total as that falls in he's got three hits in this one so with that we're not done with the bottom of the eighth now quite that. yet the right fielder Larry. loud noises oh. right here fellas hey he's gonna have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Told ten men come to the plate here. Six of them score. Nick Senzel is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Here's the first pitch to him. Mike Freeman season. comes on with Mike one gone here as he looks Freeman. at a called strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Mike Freeman has retired on strikes for the third time tonight. Jonathan India stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. He makes the catch, and the Cardinals will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. 20 to 1 this evening. The Redbirds.